All right, so let's check out this video. Um, <coughs> I don't know if this video is real or not, but it seems like, I mean, you know, it's uh, someone's uh, door cam. I wanted to talk about a little bit about this video is that women constantly seem to constantly not uh, accept red flags and they always go back to terrible men. Let's check it out. Why are you here? Because I want to talk to you. What do you need to talk about? What do we need to talk about? I think we can talk it out. Like, I don't know where you are in your life and everything, but... I'm not anywhere. I'm in my apartment. Please, I don't even want you here. Please go. Okay, that's pretty rude. Like, it's not rude. I just, I came over here to talk to you, like... What is the point of us, of you being here right now? Like, we've been through a lot together. I don't even care. Like, please go. You don't care. Like, we've been together for years. Okay, but we're not together right now, so it doesn't matter. Can you please go ahead and get off my porch? Are you serious right now? Yes. Come on. Like, dude, you freaking, like, cheated on me and everything, and I'm still here, like, trying to forgive you. Trying to move forward, like, move past all this, like... Rochelle, I'm good. Go. No. Yes, I am good. Why are you being like this? I'm is, not is, being some, is somebody with you right now? No. Did you move on that fast? No. So what's the issue? Can you please go? No, like, we said we were going to fight for this. You said you would marry me. No, I did not. Yes, you, so you didn't tell me that. No. So I just have a ring for no reason. You don't have a ring. Oh, I don't have a ring? <laughs> Can you please get off my porch? No. I don't want you here. I'm good. I'm good. No, you're not good. Is something going on? It's like, a hard, I'm, here, I'm here for you. You are a hard pass for me at this point. I'm a hard pass? Yeah. Are you serious right now? Course, why wouldn't I be serious? I'm good. Like, and then, you, and then you block me on everything, like all social media. I've moved on. I'm good. I don't need you here anymore. What is going on with you? Nothing. Just come outside. I'm not coming outside. Why not? Because I'm not. Come outside. We can talk about it. Like, maybe we can go to therapy together. We or something. do not need to talk about anything. There's nothing to talk about. Can you please just get off my porch? I'm good. We don't need to be in each other's lives anymore, and that's okay. So you just you just wasted my time for nothing, like years, years. You're wasting my time. Oh, I'm wasting your time. You're a waste. I helped build you up. You're a waste of my time. Oh. This is wasting my time. I got precious time, and and you're wasting it. What are you doing? I'm in my apartment. What's been going on in your life? Doesn't matter. You're not in it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I was trying to spend Valentine's Day with you, maybe. Get some drinks, catch up with each other. You're being insane. You sound you sound like you're lonely. Oh. Too bad. Okay. You know what? <clears throat> Never mind. See, this is the thing, right? Um Why are you here? You 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 always hear the the, the um the narrative, right? He he cheated on her, okay? But you always hear the narrative that, okay, if the man abused the woman, cheated on the woman, lied, all this thing, if a man did it, right? But you always think that, okay, you paint the picture, he's terrible, the man is terrible, right? He's the cheater, he's the abuser, he's, he's a liar, all these things. But I like to believe, right? It's my um, kind of controversial opinion that at least... 80 to 90% of these so-called, uh, you know, relationships where men is the cheater, the abuser, the liar, all this crap, right? That it's a man's fault. That it is actually a lie. That, in my opinion, most toxic relationships, most abusive relationships, right? Relationships that are abusive, toxic, cheating, lying, all that stuff. Both people are toxic. Both people have problems. It's not, uh, in my opinion, it's rarely just like the man cheated out out of the blue, right? He or he was abusive out of nowhere. In my honest opinion, is that here's a woman. She's kind of insane, right? She's kind of on edge. In my opinion, she has some issues herself. Right? Therapy wouldn't seem not working. For her to do this, therapy is not 
uh, a fixer for her. So this is a thing where I believe, right? The men that are abusive, well, that woman is probably abusive in some form, like verbal, verbally abusive, or she's just toxic in some kind of way, mentally, right? She's mentally ill, right? Uh, she's maybe addictive to uh, toxic men. She just some kind, something is wrong with her as well. It's not, in my opinion, rarely just one-sided, rarely just out of the out of blue comes from nowhere. They're both terrible for each other. That's the thing, right? And that's the narrative that we don't hear. Because if a man did something wrong, it's all his fault. The woman is a victim. Right? That's the thing we hear. And I think that's a lie. So here's a case where this man he, is he cheated on her. He he wasn't good. He wasn't good to her. But you know what? He he moved on. Because maybe he probably see that her instabilities, right? He probably see that she just wasn't, she wasn't someone that's making him happy. So this is the thing where women don't understand, right? If you weren't, if you were as amazing as you thought you were, things wouldn't happen. I rarely believe a man would just cheat on you or leave you or do whatever out of the blue. Like no reason. No reason whatsoever. Because you were so amazing, yet he still felt the need to step out or do something wrong. So here's a case of this type of woman right here. Okay? She's mentally unstable. So let's uh, break it down a little bit. Because I want to talk to you. What do you need to talk about? What do we need to talk about? I think we can talk it out. Like... I don't know where you are in your life and everything, but... I'm not anywhere. I'm in my apartment. Please, I don't even want you here. Please go. Okay, that's pretty rude. Like... It's not rude. I just... I came over here to talk to you, like... What is the point of us... Of you being here right now? Like, we've been through a lot together. I don't even care. Like, please go. You don't care. Like, we've been together for years. Okay, but we're not together right now, so it doesn't matter. Can you please go ahead and get off my... And that's the, that's the thing where I want to say, right? One of the things I've always said is that us as human beings, one of the most precious thing we have is time. A lot of a lot of times we're wasting it. Here's the thing where this woman, right? I don't know how old she is, right? Hypothetically, let's say she's in her 20s, right? Mid 20s, 25. You you've been with this man for let's let's say hypothetically 5 years. Great. Now, you can't, the relationship has ended. He cheated on you, uh, he, he broke it up, whatever. And now you still want to waste more time. You want to try to take this toxic man back. This, this man who cheated on you back. Okay, so, let's say hypothetically, he cheated on you again. Would that be fine? No. This is the thing where women don't understand that they stay with toxic men they t they stay with men that's heavy red flags and then let's say uh 30 35 now you leave them now he's like oh i'm tired with this toxic i'm i'm tired with terrible men you know that you wasted your year your youth on terrible men so now what you want good men to come in it see this is the thing where women don't understand that shows you what type of person you are Here's a woman that wasted years of her life on a man that cheated on her, right? The man that didn't want to be with her. And she still wants to be with him, okay? So it shows you what type of person you are. She herself is unstable. She herself has mental problems. It is, it is never a good thing to deal with women that have mental issues, okay? It's not. Coach. Are you serious right now? Yes. Come on. Like, dude, you freaking, like, cheated on me and everything, and I'm still here, like, trying to forgive you. Trying to move forward, like, move past all this, like... Rochelle, I'm good. Go and how many times you hear stories, right? Of women saying their man has cheated on them multiple times and still be with them. I've said it before. Women will ignore red flags. They will. Especially for these toxic men. 
So that doesn't make these women, like, uh, th there's not a good image for these women. It's not. It just shows you that you are toxic yourself. Because if you can condone these bad behaviors and still love that person and still want to be with that person, that shows you that you have no self-respect, right? That shows you that you are toxic. You are mentally unstable yourself. You are unhealthy to be with. Okay. Cool. No. Yes, I am good. Why are you being like this? I'm is, not is, being somebody, is somebody with you right now? No. Did you move on that fast? No. So what's the issue? Can you please go? No, like we said we were gonna fight for this. You said you would marry me. No, I did not. Yes, I'm... you. And this is the thing, right? Why would you even want to marry a man that has cheated on you? This is the thing where women just it shows you that. A lot of women are terrible at picking men. They are really terrible at picking men. Okay? So instead of, let's say this, right? Instead of a, looking, getting a man that wouldn't cheat on you, that would want to be with you, you are stuck going back to a man, begging to be with a man that cheated on you, that don't want to be with you. The desperation. And I've said it, right? This is just sad because women have it easy when it comes to dating. No matter if you're ugly, pretty, fat, skinny, old, young, there will be men that want to be with you. And yet, you still want to be with terrible men. It just fascinates me, right? It fascinates me because, hell, Men don't even get choices to be with bad women, right? Some men, unless you go up to a woman, she will never even look at your way. So you don't have a choice unless you make it yourself. While women, there will be men that will try to holler at you, try to get with you. So you will always have chances for men's attention. And yet you would still want to go back to terrible men. It fascinates me. So you didn't tell me that? No. So I just have a ring for no reason? You don't have a ring. Oh, I don't have a ring? Can you please get off my porch? No. I so that, that, that's, that's a weird one. Is that true or not? Because then she's making up stories. Possibly showing more of her instability. And you know what? I can see why this man cheated on her. Whether it's not a good thing, right? But this woman borderlines or cross it to insanity. Right? This is like, I don't know, stalker, um, obsess obsessive compulsiveness. This is like heavy disorder. I don't want you here. I'm good. I'm good. No, you're not good. Is something going on? It's like, a hard I'm, here, I'm here for you. You are a hard pass for me at this point. I'm a hard pass. Yeah. Are you serious right now? Of course, why wouldn't I be serious? I'm good. Like, and then, you, and then you block me on everything, like all social media. I've moved on. I'm good. I don't need you here anymore. What is going on with you? Nothing. Just come outside. I'm not coming outside. Why not? Because I'm not. Come outside. We and this is the thing, right? This is these type of women, right? That's, I mean, although, again, I don't know how old she is, but this shows you, right? why women waste their time this is the thing where you lead up to when you're 35 40 right ever and you hit into the kendra g shows right because you can't find a man because you waste your youth by doing stupid shit okay dating is easy for women and yet you are so obsessed so addicted to terrible men that it has made you insane. This is the thing, right? Yeah, and this is the rules. It's just, seriously, she's begging, begging to be with a man that cheated on her. It's just, it's sad. And this is what, this, this is why it shows how heavy the instability is with women. Because they will, they have so often crawl back to terrible men. Okay, they, they, they do it so many times. You hear all these stories, right? You hear the stories of, you know, abusive cases, you know, abuse cases. 
how these women always go back to the men that abuse them. And those women are unhealthy mentally. Okay, so women like this, it's unhealthy. We can talk about it. Like maybe we can go to therapy together. We or do not need to talk about anything. There's therapy is not going to work for this woman. Because if she thinks to go to therapy together for a man that doesn't want to be with her, for a man that cheated on her, for a man that she's begging to be with her, a therapist cannot get through this man, woman's head. Nothing to talk about. Can you please just get off my porch? I'm good. We don't need to be in each other's lives anymore, and that's okay. So you just you just wasted my time for nothing, like years, years. You're wasting my time. Oh, I'm wasting your time. You're wasting. This is the thing, right? How many times do we hear those words? Wasting your time. This is a problem with women. Okay. You choose these men. You allow these men into your life. You continue to deal with these men. No. I, although this man is obviously a terrible man for cheating on her, I can't blame this man. I can't. I, I can't blame this man because for what a woman allows a man to do. You allow this man to cheat on you, to treat you terribly. Because why? You want to be with this man. So really... This is the thing where a lot of women do it. You allow these men to treat you terribly. Why? Because you allow these men into your life. Right? If this man has accept if this man had accepted this, this woman back, she will still give this man this this man who's, who's been terrible to her, she will still give this man her body. And while there are other men that could treat you better, you still decide to Give your body to a man that cheated on you, to the man that treated you bad. The insanity. The insanity of it is something that amazes me. That, you know what? It's just, it's fascinating. The, the human brain, right? It's fascinating. So, wasting your time, you, this is the thing where a lot of women don't understand. You wasted your own time. By giving these men... Right? Time. Giving these men your attention, your body, you know, your youth. So you wasted your own time. Because at the end of the day, which something seems like women don't understand, accountability. We are all accountable for our own actions, not the actions of other people. Right? The best we can do is like help steer it, but at the end of the day, what we control 100% is our own actions. And we, or women, wasted their own time by accountability. What they allow. What they did with their own actions. So, but, yeah. I just wanted to show something, uh, the insanity of women. No, no, uh, you know obvious it's obvious but yeah hope you guys like that one